Hey you guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the brand new ColourPop Cheek Dew Serum Blushes. I'm gonna be trying out four shades for you guys on the face. I will be showing you guys close-ups and swatches of all of them. So yeah, really quickly before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here are the brand new ColourPop Cheek Dew Serum Blushes. They did send over four different shades. So these are the four different shades that they sent me. There are actually 10 shades that are gonna be coming out. Here is a close-up of the packaging. I love the ombre packaging. I think it looks very nice. And then here's how the blush actually comes packaged. It's just in a little squeezy tube. So it says that this innovative and unique serum blush is a pillowy soft formula that combines skin loving ingredients with a dewy rush of color. So it says that there are 10 shades in nudes, peaches, and corals, and there are cool and warm pinks. It says that it's lightweight and buildable to leave cheeks looking naturally flush with a hint of dew. So this blush is formulated with hyaluronic acid that helps it deeply quench the skin with vital hydration. It also has vitamin C, which is known to help boost radiance and even skin tone. And it also has vitamin E, which is known to nourish and supplement skin with vital antioxidants. So it says it's best applied with the fingertips, your favorite beauty sponge, or a duo fiber brush. It says for best application to apply before using powder products. So now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all four of the shades that they sent me. First up, we have the shade Tumble For Ya. This one is a muted cool pink. So there is that shade. Obviously, I'm not going to blend these in for the swatches because I really want you guys to see the color. Next up, we have the shade called Hotline. And this one is a soft, warm pink. Next up, we have the shade, I believe you just say it. Psst. This one is a warm, mid-toned rose. That was a really bad swatch, but there is that shade. And the last shade that they sent over is called Beyond. And this one is a muted deep rose. All right, so there are all four of these shades. These are super pretty. I cannot wait to try these out on the cheeks. So I don't own any other blush like this. I do not have a liquid blush like this, but I did want to compare it to something for you guys, something else that is pretty affordable. So I recently picked up an e.l.f. Putty blush. So I do want to swatch this next to the serum blushes and see just how it is. So the e.l.f. one is obviously a cream and not a serum, but let's see how it swatches. Okay, so obviously the cream blush goes on much more sheer and it definitely doesn't have that thick consistency like these serum blushes. So I would imagine that these serum blushes feel a lot more hydrating than for example, the e.l.f. putty blush. So yeah, let's go ahead and try these out on the face. All right, so I went ahead and did my foundation and my concealer. I have set underneath my eyes, but not on the rest of my face because you are not supposed to have setting powder underneath these blushes. So we're gonna go ahead and try out the two lightest shades first. So the first shade I'm going to apply is hotline and I think I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna kind of tap this on my cheeks so once I have it kind of on my cheeks I'm gonna go ahead and take my sponge and I'm gonna start blending okay so these definitely have very sheer coverage even though they kind of look like thick and opaque they definitely are a sheer coverage formula, which I think is great. So I'm gonna apply just a little bit more and blend it out again. So these blend very easily. So here is the shade Hotline. This one is definitely a very natural shade. It blends out very easily. It did not disrupt my foundation. I did set my foundation, but I did have it sitting on my face for a little while before I came back to actually film this part of the video. So hopefully you guys can see this shade on camera. I'm gonna add just a little bit more so that you guys can really see it because these are pretty sheer. So I'm just gonna add one more layer. Like they look like they would be like crazy pigmented, but they're not, which is actually a good thing. All right, so here is it built up with like three layers. I feel like it did start to get a little patchy there on my cheek. I probably added way too much because these are supposed to be like sheer and natural looking, but I really wanted you guys to be able to see the color. So here is the shade called Hotline. This one is gonna be perfect for like very fair skin. I believe they sent me all of the light shades or like the fair shades because I am very fair. So now we're gonna try out this shade right here. And this is the shade called, oops, once again, I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger. 
And I'm just gonna dab this all over the cheeks. I wouldn't have the patience to blend this out with my finger. I think the sponge is the best way to go. So here is one layer of that shade. I think I might just do two layers this time because I feel like three got a little crazy looking over here. So I'm just gonna add a little more. I normally don't like a whole lot of blush, but I'm just layering it so we can really see the color. So this one is a little bit darker than the first shade that we applied. I think they're really pretty. This one's more of like a peachy warm shade and this one is more cool toned and rosy. All right, so here is the shade called Hotline and here is the, oops, I don't know why they named it this weird name, but here is this shade. My first thoughts on these are that they blend very nicely. I like the coverage they give. I think for the next two, I'm probably not gonna layer them up. I'll probably just do one layer because they are a little bit deeper of shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these two off and then we're gonna try out the last two shades that they sent over. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and apply the last two shades that I have here. First up, we have the shade Tumble For Ya and I meant to do this in my last round, but I kind of picked up another one by accident. So once again, just going to take a little bit on my finger and oh, I think I applied too much. Oh, wow, this one's very, very natural looking. Yeah, I think this one was the lightest shade that I had, and then I accidentally grabbed one of these other ones by accident instead of this one because I just had them all laying on the table. All right, so here is that shade. This one, I believe, is the lightest. It is very natural. I'm only gonna do one layer because I feel like when I started layering those, they kind of got a little patchy looking. Looking at it up close, I don't feel like it's doing anything to my foundation, which is good. Sometimes like cream blushes can make your foundation start to like come off even if you don't set it. So let me come a little closer for you guys. So here is the shade Tumble For Ya. This one is gonna be a really good shade for very fair skin. I actually really like this one a lot. This one might be my favorite so far. As for the formula, these don't feel like sticky. Like they definitely feel like hydrating on the cheeks. It is like maybe a little bit sticky and tacky, but I feel like once you set it in place, ooh, I think I just messed it up by touching my face. Yeah, I definitely feel like you're gonna have to set these in place or they're gonna kind of move everywhere, which I'm gonna do in just a minute after I apply this last shade. So now we have the last shade that I'm gonna try out on this cheek. This one is the shade Beyond. This one I believe is like the deepest shade that I have, so I'm just gonna take a little bit. Hopefully that wasn't too much. Wow, that one blended out very nicely. I don't know if it's the shades that I like better of these two or that I only applied one layer, but I feel like with one layer, they definitely look a lot better than whenever I started layering them. So really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and give you guys like my final thoughts and tell you guys how I feel about these so far. Also, I think I might do a mask wear test. So let me go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then we'll get into that. All right, so I went ahead and finished up the rest of my makeup. I did set my entire face with setting powder and I feel like the blushes still look really good even when set with setting powder. Sometimes cream blushes can kind of like fade away once you set your face and I feel like you can still see these the same amount as before I set my face. So, so far, so good. I'm thinking that we're probably gonna do a mask test now and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts whenever I come back. So I will see you guys in a little bit after I have been wearing this mask and we'll see how these blushes hold up. I don't believe they're meant to be like long wear blushes but I just wanna test it out for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are wearing masks all day. Personally, I wear a mask all day but I don't wear makeup on the bottom half of my face so to me, this doesn't really matter that much, but I know some of you guys will wanna know. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back in a little bit to give you guys an update. All right, so I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, and we'll see how the blush looks. Oh my gosh, I applied way too much highlighter today. So the blush seemed to hold up pretty nicely with the mask on. I wasn't wearing it for too, too long, but just for that short amount of time, I feel like it did wear nicely. 
Obviously, I did set it in place. I feel like if you didn't set it in place, it would definitely probably fade away because these are a more like hydrating formula. So, so far, so good. I actually really like the way that these look. Whenever I saw they were coming out with these, I was actually really excited. So when I saw these on my doorstep yesterday, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad that they sent me these because I'm really into cream products. I'm kind of sad though because right now I can't really wear these like to work or anything because I wear a mask all day and I just don't wear makeup on the bottom half of my face, as I said. But for filming and stuff, I'm definitely gonna be wearing these a ton. I love cream blushes and these are interesting. I don't own any product like this. They are a serum blush, not like a, I don't know, like a cream blush like this e.l.f. one. So I feel like these are kind of like an innovative formula. As I said, I don't own any blushes like this. Let me know in the comments down below if another brand has a blush like this and if you guys wanna see like a comparison because I can pick up some other serum blushes if you guys are interested in seeing the ColourPop ones compared to some ones from some other brands. Just let me know in the comments down below. But based on my first impression, I really Really like these they have great pigmentation when you first squeeze them out of the tube they look like super crazy pigmented but they blend out beautifully they look very natural on the skin I personally feel like one layer is all you need I feel like once you start to build them up they can start to look a little bit patchy so in my opinion one layer is good I even think that two layers still looked fine but once I added a third layer I feel like things were looking just a little bit patchy like it didn't look bad I just feel like it looks a lot better with one layer I really wish that I knew the price of these to tell you guys. I feel like a lot of times I get stuff in PR and they never include like pricing on the little info sheet and I looked on ColourPop's Instagram and I looked on Trend Mood and I couldn't find the price so if anybody knows can you please comment down below. I feel like normally with ColourPop launches they don't release the price until they actually launch the product. So these blushes are going to be launching on March 4th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the ColourPop website. These are going to be, I believe, a ColourPop website exclusive. So as of right now, I don't think that they're going to be selling these in Ulta. So since I am filming this before they launch, I'm not going to have these linked in my description box below, but as soon as they launch, I will update the description box for you guys. But yeah, overall, I am really impressed with these. I think that this is a nice formula. They definitely feel hydrating on the cheeks. Once you set them in place, they don't feel sticky or or tacky. They do feel a little bit sticky whenever it's not set in place so I would definitely recommend setting your makeup and I love how these look after setting the face. I feel like they look so natural. I personally love really natural looking makeup for every day so I can definitely see myself using these a ton and I like that these have a hydrating formula because I do have pretty like normal to dry skin. If you do have oily skin I feel like you can make these work but just know that you will need to set them maybe with like a mattifying powder or you might get kind of really oily in the cheek area during the day. But yeah, I really like these so far. I think they blend out beautifully. I feel like they blend the best with a sponge. I did try and blend a little bit with my fingers like off camera and I don't know, that would just take too long for me personally. I didn't try a brush because I never use a brush to do my makeup like for cream products. I really just like to apply things with a sponge and I feel like the sponge was so quick and easy and these blend very nicely. Sometimes cream blushes can be hard to blend out but these blend so easily. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also make sure you guys have your notifications turned on that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. All you have to do is click the bell next to the subscribe button and then you'll receive a notification every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.